Alright, so in this video, I'm going to attempt to uh, lower the temperatures on this GPU. Now this is a gigabyte HD 5671 gigabyte, the overclock edition. And uh, I picked this up yesterday, but the problem I've noticed with it, and I was trying to play games on it to test it out the other day in that system there, is that it gets rather hot. I believe and the system shuts down now when I took it out and I put it on this test board uh, and I've opened MSI Combustor I'm not doing anything but sitting on the desktop there's nothing running and it's sitting at 96 degrees so what I'm going to do right now is uh, dismantle the card and let's have a see what we can do I'm just going to run this for a second I don't want to do it for too long because it could damage the card but if I run uh, this for example, the temperature shoots up to excess of 100 degrees instantly. Let's cut this out and shut down the system. The fan's also very loud which would explain it since it's getting that hot. I'm hoping it's just going to be a case of changing the uh, thermal paste on the card, but we'll soon see. That appears to be just on fuel, four screws, so it should be easy to take apart anyway. I'm going to pull the cat off the uh, test bed solution <laughs> and uh, have a see. Right, well there's the card, also the system. You can see at the bottom here where it says, the camera would focus. Ah. 5670OC dash G uh, slash 1GI rev 1. So it's a Radeon HD 5671 gigabyte overclock by gigabyte. This right here is the, uh, the GPU cooler. So I believe it's just on four screws, it doesn't seem to be anything else holding the cooler in place. So it's quite dusty in there as well, so it's probably overdue a clean. Let's have a see what we find inside. Okay, got a screwdriver. Now, when you're taking these off, make sure that you gently undo them in opposite corners so you don't put too much pressure and stress on the actual chip. You've got to take them out gradually from each side. Okay, I've got the four screws out. They're there with the springs on them, spring loaded. Now I'm going to remove card from the heatsink. Now we get to see the uh, GPU core right there. So unplug the fan. There is quite a bit of dust inside the uh, cooler and on the card itself. There's the old thermal paste which I'm going to be replacing of course. You can see it on the chip right there. doesn't look too great actually feels quite hard as well so I'm going to give this a clean off and then apply some fresh paste so I just knocked the paste off I tried to and it's literally just broken off and crumbled it's not running at all it's all gone hard so that is not going to be helping out ok, just finished dismantling the cooler there's uh, three screws underneath the fan when you undo that everything comes apart and it's much easier to clean it this way. So I've just been trying to clean it with the thing attached and I couldn't quite get in there. But now I can uh, get all under the fan and everything and give it a go clean. Okay everything's cleaned out now. Still a bit on the fan but nowhere near as bad as it was. I've cleaned the paste off the heatsink. I've cleaned the dust out of here. So I'm good to screw the heat sink back together and then put some paste on here and reapply the heat sink heat sink put back together just do the paste just gotta do paste next ok so I'm applying the thermal paste I've got a syringe of it here it's only cheap stuff but it's gotta do better than uh, what was on it for the time being
put it this on. I imagine that should be more than enough. Now I've got to screw the cooler back on and see what happens. Okay, it goes back on the card. It's got to perform better than last time. Surely. Let's get it on the board and give it a try. Okay, it's on the board. Hopefully this thing still powers up. Well, the fan's quite low speed at the moment. This board does take a while to post sometimes. We have post. And display output. All good so far. And there's no super high speed fan yet as well. So far so good. Okay, we're in Windows. The fan isn't very loud. And the idle temp is 38 degrees. 39. That is much better. Let's run a test. A uh, burning test. See what our temperature goes to. The fun focus, that would be great. There we go. about 60 degrees. It's not soaring anywhere near as fast as it was before. Don't see no artifacting yet. So that's a good sign. 65 degrees. There's no overly loud fan yet either. The noisiest thing on is the power supply fan, because I'm using a cheap crappy supply for testing. 67 degree. Sixty-eight. We've been running for a minute and ten seconds so far and we're only at sixty-eight degrees. Sixty-nine, seventy degrees. I'm not sure what these cards sit at as a top temperature. There's the uh, core clock, seven hundred eighty-five megahertz, memory one thousand megahertz. I haven't messed with any of the clock settings or anything on this card. It's just exactly as it was when I bought it. I'm gonna leave this to run for another minute or two and see what temperature we get to. Okay. The test has been running for nine minutes and we are stuck at about 76, 77 degrees. And I believe we're stable there. Seventy-seven is the highest it's been and it's been set there for quite a while. So I think that we're good to go and I'm going to throw this back in that machine now and try and play a game on it and see if it works as well because before it was shutting the entire computer down it's installed back into the other system this is my second guest gaming PC slash video editing PC uh, Intel D something or other motherboard uh, it's a DQ35JOE it's got a Q6600, it has 8 gigs of DDR2 memory for 2 gig sticks. And now it's got the HD5670 installed and a 500 gig hard drive, but it accesses most of everything over the network anyway. There's also an MRDO Delta audio file 24-96 uh, song card in there. And there's a Q6600 cooled by that cooler in this one. There's a random X power power supply that I had hanging around purely for the fact it's got PCI Express connectors on it so I can plug a graphics card straight into it if I end up upgrading the graphics card in the future
Well, the system started up. We're going to play a bit of probably World at War. Let's just check it's detected properly first. There we go, detected. Let's try some Call of Duty World at War on it. Since that's the only thing that's on this damn computer. Okay, so we are in World at War. We have a missile afterburner running in the top corner showing all the uh, information. Let's go with a bit of zombies. Got a bit of reese. Turn down the sign a little. We're getting decent frame rates for everything turned up. This is at 1440 by 900. It's only a small 19 inch LG monitor. We've got 63 degrees. It's 185 megahertz uh, GPU clock. Let's try turning around a little. This is a very playable, uh, very, this is a very playable frame rate. Ooh, I'm impressed with this. It only cost me £7.50. I just needed the pace changing. So far seems good. I hope my focus was a little better. Knife him in the face. But yeah, all seems well. We're not overheating, we're not crashing, the system hasn't shut down. We're keeping a nice temperature, and we've got some nice frame rate going on, for what it is. I'm impressed with that. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to play a game of Zombies R2 now, and just give it a little trial out, and then stick the side back on it and put it away. Uh, I'm happy with that now. That's great. Thanks for watching anyway, I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining. And uh, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see more random videos like this. Thanks for watching.